Your 20s is over. You're not getting any younger. Now you're in your 30s. It's time to plan out your retirement. Keep watching. When you were in your 20s, maybe you enjoyed a little bit of partying here or there, or had a keg or a funnel in your mouth. I don't know what you did, but you had a lot more freedom when you were in your 20s. And once you reach your 30s, that's the age when you probably try to step up your, in your career, you try to step up in your life, maybe you're getting married, things are getting a lot more serious, and it shouldn't stop with just your job or just your savings as well. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the steps you need to take to reach your retirement goals while you're still in your 30s. My name is Muni Fali, and I was a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s. I built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions in sales. I started this YouTube channel so that I could share my life experiences so that you can be more successful in life and in business. The very first thing to do is start NOW right now. You're still relatively young. You have time to retire with millions of dollars if you start by monitoring your income and your expenses. You'll be shocked how much money flows through our hands. And so by monitoring your income and expenses, you'll know what amount you can allocate to your savings and paying your debts. Speaking of debt, you need to first start out by paying your debt now. Those crazy ass student loans and those credit cards and personal loans and car loans, if you can't pay them right now, at least make an effort to have a plan. What's important is that you settle your debts as soon as you can so you can avoid interest rates and penalties, and then you can utilize that money for your savings and your emergency funds instead. Every dollar that you spend on interest is hurting your multi-million dollar retirement plan. You don't have to cash out everything in savings and you don't have to deposit thousands of dollars right away. Take small steps. Start out with a couple of dollars until you're comfortable setting aside hundreds of dollars and then thousands of dollars. Visualize yourself in the future. How do you want to see your life when you're 60 years old? By planning your future now, it's easier for you to take the necessary steps to get to your goal. And what is your retirement date? Do you even know? Do you want to have a more active lifestyle? Do you want to retire? Do you want to go see the world? Do you want to travel? Do you want to sail? What do you want to do? Have all of that as part of your retirement planning so you know exactly what your goals are. Then maybe it's time to list all of the places and research how much it's going to cost for you to live in Florida or Arizona or Thailand. Or maybe you simply just want to save for your children's future. Then prioritize investing on those type of legacy building plans. By doing these little things, you're more focused on your goals and you'll end up purchasing investments that make sense rather than just willy-nilly, I'm gonna buy here or there. And instead of buying those designer shoes that you can barely afford, maybe you can have a much better life in your latter years and you won't end up wearing a Walmart vest later on because you just didn't save. Aside from government and financial companies, you can also check your company's workplace contributions. While you're in your 30s, you can choose a 401k, a 403b, a thrift savings plan, and contribute the maximum of $20,500. Having the company you work for deduct your savings automatically from your payments will help you avoid unnecessary expenses in time. It's easy to get tempted to spend your money when you can grasp it or see it available on your debit card, but it automatically is gone to retirement so you won't even notice. When someone saves, it's less tempting to waste the money because you actually see your future self having and using it, and your future self thanks you already. Aside from participating in workplace contributions, you can also create an individual retirement account or an IRA outside of your job. You can pick a traditional IRA where you will have tax deferred income and withdrawals or a Roth IRA where you can have tax free income and withdrawals. Both are beneficial and I'll discuss this in another video. For now, just know that you have an option to make an IRA outside of your company, both with a minimum of a $6,000 contribution as of right now. Both will give you tax deduction benefits and both of these will definitely help you hit your retirement goals while you're in your 30s, especially with benefits of adding those maximum contributions once you're in your 50s. That million dollar future isn't so far away. Again, you don't need to do it all and everything at once. It's best that you take small steps depending on your financial situation. Just make sure you know your goals, that you're starting to to make changes now and while you're still in your 30s save a few dollars pay off some of those debts and once you're free from those debts definitely check your company's workplace contributions save some money for your tax deducted IRAs and maybe by the time you reach your retirement age you'll reach your million dollar goal you'll enjoy some traveling around the world and you can take it easy and still leave millions behind for your loved ones if you like the video I just gave you and you want more go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're having trouble just getting started on a habit of saving money or budgeting or lowering your expenses or conquering your debts, I made a great video about how to build better habits in just five easy steps. I want you to go ahead and hit that video next.